if you use the words I worship you Holy Ghost they will give you a different image of who the Holy Ghost is and thus a different image of yourself the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words my name is Andrew Hemstrut thank you for joining us if this is your first time here make sure that you subscribe if this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you then consider becoming a partner with us tonight I'm going to be talking about a very powerful secret that if you learn how to do it it will completely transform your life if I could stand in the future and look back and say what brought me success and how did I become successful and how did I accomplish all the things that I needed to accomplish it would be this looking back from that place of perfection in the future and I've been there and I've looked back and I saw that the secret of my success was in worshiping daily the Holy Ghost as God in the earth and by speaking in agreement with his word and letting those words influence my vision of him and of myself this is not for everyone because you need to have some context to put the things that I'm talking about in my partners know this they have this knowledge they've come to this place of knowing him the Holy Ghost as the Living God and the one that they walk with in the earth that's where you need to be to have this message make sense to you the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words that's the context these secrets are for people who are already behind the veil what do you mean veil the veil is something that is taken away and you have revelation your eyes see behind the veil this message is for people who are already behind the veil and specifically behind the veil they know that the Holy Ghost is God say the Holy Ghost is God he is in the earth with them and it's not Jesus Jesus is not here Jesus will return but the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today I will talk more about this in a minute but those people are already behind the veil because they already know the Holy Ghost as God and knowing him as God they worship him as God they use the words I worship you Holy Ghost and frankly if you want to if you're just coming into this and you want to have the context of this message down begin using the words I worship you Holy Ghost and listen he will start to make advances in your life and you will advance quickly say I will advance quickly if you begin to use those words I worship you Holy Ghost so now understand I have more than one congregation well, what do you mean well I have people that I minister to in various places live on a regular basis but there are also people that are all over the place that contact this ministry through messages just like this online and they are equally part of this ministry equally part of this message and this message is for you not every message needs to be for the guy off the street so many churches do that and they are sadly anemic because of it this message is for those who want to go on I don't need to get saved again I don't need to get filled with the Holy Ghost again I need to go on Hebrews chapter 6 verse 1 therefore leaving the principles of the doctrine of Christ let us go on say let us go on so partners and members let us 
go on we're going on what are we going on to you say let us go on to perfection not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works and of faith towards God of doctrine of baptisms of the laying on of hands of resurrection of the dead and of eternal judgment and this we will do let us go on this we will do for those that were once enlightened and have tasted the heavenly gift and were made partakers of the Holy Ghost made partakers of who the Holy Ghost partners with partakers with the Holy Ghost let us go on to something you're going on to perfection and he even listed and were made partakers of the Holy Ghost this is the kind of message I need to hear say this is the kind of message I need to hear me personally if I'm going on and you're going on with me then this is the kind of message we all need to hear so let us go on let us go on to what perfection say perfection you must first see who perfection is where, where are we going on to perfection we're going behind the veil and looking at him who is perfection and we're changed into that image if you look at James chapter 1 verse 17 every good gift and every what perfect gift is from above and comes down from the father of lights with whom is no variableness neither shadow of turning who came down from the father of lights who's called the gift who's called the promise the Holy Ghost he came down from the father of lights and is with us to this day the Bible calls him perfect say the Bible calls him perfect he is perfection so you must begin to see him him who him the Holy Ghost him the Holy Ghost as God but he is glorious can you give me that he the Holy Ghost is glorious the Holy Ghost he the Holy Ghost is beautiful he the Holy Ghost is perfect say the Holy Ghost is perfect as I was thinking of these things saying oh the Holy Ghost is perfect the Holy Ghost is beautiful and I said the Holy Ghost is perfect and he said go on and I'm and I was like ah I get it go on to perfection you need to see him and if you can't see him you can't be changed let alone changed unto perfection are you getting this I mean pe people that have been around here enough are beginning to see this already second Corinthians chapter 3 verse 16 nevertheless when it shall turn to the Lord the veil shall be taken away now the Lord is and the veils taken away ta-da that spirit and where the spirit of the Lord is or where the spirit is Lord there is freedom so behind the veil you see something that you didn't see before say I see something I didn't see before that veil is taken away now I see something that I didn't see before the Lord is that spirit and where the spirit is Lord or where you're seeing the spirit as Lord or in that capacity there is liberty or there is freedom and obviously a liberty and a freedom that you can't have any other way I hope you're hearing this there's liberties here that you can't have any other way verse 18 but we all with open face beholding as in a glass or mirror many translations say mirror beholding as in a mirror the glory of the who well that's Jesus they didn't he didn't just start talking about Jesus here in the midst of this verse he said now the Lord is that spirit who is the Holy Ghost and we're beholding as in a mirror 
the glory of the Holy Ghost who are we beholding the Holy Ghost who are you looking at the Holy Ghost beholding that as in a glass the glory of the are changed into the same image that we're beholding from glory to glory even as by the Spirit of the Lord or the Spirit who is Lord who are we beholding Holy Ghost who are we being changed into the image of Holy Ghost what would you call that if he's perfection what are we be, being changed into we're going on to perfection you can't go on to perfection until you begin beholding him as the Spirit Lord are you getting this this is where we're at you need to see him and if you can't see him you can't be changed into that image the curtains taken away you behold him the first thing say the first thing that you're going to behold and see and comprehend and know is that he is God well if you knew him as God you would worship him as God and here's the rub so many people don't like it when I say you need to worship the Holy Ghost as God if you see him as God you would worship him as God and if you would worship him you would see him as God it goes both ways the use of the words I worship you Holy Ghost will lead you into knowing him as God use of the words I worship you Holy Ghost takes you behind the veil what good is that because behind the veil is where you begin to behold him and see him and become changed by looking at him and beholding him I was giving these words to use and the use of those words do something to you and for you number one it takes you behind the veil and you begin to see him the Holy Ghost as he really is and who he really is I worship you Holy Ghost takes you behind the veil and into a different image of him I am telling you I testify to the fact that if you use the words I worship you Holy Ghost which were given to me from heaven to use and therefore they're given to you to use they will give you a different image of who the Holy Ghost is I'm telling you and thus a different image of yourself you are changed into that image that you see reflected off of him you begin to see him as a God of pure healing and health say a God of pure healing and health I'm changed into that image. what am I starting to see about myself then an image of myself in pure healing and health are you getting this I begin seeing him as God and pure healing and health and 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 absolute wealth a God of absolute wealth and prosperity I'm seeing him as that what does that do to my image of myself I start to come up in wealth and prosperity because I see myself as he sees me are you here I see myself healed I see myself wealthy it's me reflected in his image in his eyes like a mirror you see yourself and begin to see yourself the way God sees you your view changes are you still with me you in the future perfect say perfect me in the future perfect say me future perfect completely finishing all the work that you're called to do having become the person and the thing that you've desired and he desires of you looking back from that place to the secret of your success of how you got there future perfection fulfilling all you're called to do the finished work 
the secret of your success the secret of my success looking back from that place was daily worshiping the Holy Ghost as God and speaking in agreement with his word say daily worshiping the Holy Ghost as God and speaking in agreement with his word that's what gets you there so that's the secret of your success and here's the technique is seeing yourself as he sees me can you see that in that verse of scripture but we all with hope and face beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord or as in a mirror the glory of the Lord are changed beholding are changed seeing that's what beholding means seeing that are changed so the technique is not only just to say 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 what the scriptures say that are in agreement with the way he sees you but to begin to see yourself the way he sees you because he says by beholding you are changed say beholding I am changed so I see myself as the end result well, well, well I can't see it let your words do the work and here's part of the powerful technique let your words do the work what words say you these words say I see myself now those are words right yeah but you're trying to say you got to see yourself yeah but when you say the words I see myself scripture I just can't see myself then let your words do the work as you release those words they begin to influence your direction in the way you go James chapter 3 says the tongue is like a rudder it steers the ship so let your words do the work even though I can't see myself healed say I see myself healed I see myself standing up I see myself walking on the beach every day you have to say yourself and when you say yourself you begin to see yourself Proverbs 10 22 says the blessing of the Lord makes me rich yeah but I don't can't see myself rich you need to let the words do the work start using Proverbs 10 22 to say the blessing of the Lord makes me rich and adds no sorrow with it the blessing of the Lord makes me rich and adds no sorrow with it then say I see myself rich and having no sorrow added to me I see myself rich what happens when you start to say that you see yourself rich you begin to see yourself rich let your words do the work well I can't see myself healed first Peter 2 24 by Jesus stripes I was healed I see myself healed let your words do the work is this making sense how are you gonna get perfectly healed how are you gonna get perfectly rich say perfectly rich say perfectly healed how are you gonna do it you're gonna go on to perfection but you're gonna have to say yourself healed you're gonna have to say yourself rich and you're gonna have to see yourself healed and you're gonna have to see yourself rich if you can't see it yet you have to say it and one of the best things you can do to say it or to see it is to say that you see it I see myself say that I see myself now what's wrong with saying that you see yourself the way the word says you are the Bible calls you rich you should say that you see yourself rich Psalms 118 verse 5 I called upon the Lord in distress the word distress means a tight place say a tight place Arr. could be a tight place of illness it could be a, a tight place of of lack I called upon the Lord in distress or in a tight place the Lord answered me and set me in 
a large place or a place of freedom a place of liberty he said i called upon the lord that word called upon we all think one thing we think we're just you know calling oh god help me oh god help me oh god help me that's not what those words actually mean they literally mean to read out loud or to give voice unto so the writer of the psalm said i read out loud what do you think he was reading out loud would have been the promises would have been the scriptures or he gave voice to the scriptures say he gave voice to the scriptures and the Lord answered him and set him in a large place delivered him from that tight place and put him in a large place by giving voice say giving voice to the scriptures I read them out loud didn't say he could see himself in it right away but that is the process of how you begin to see yourself in it he set me in a large place I call myself set in a large place I say myself set in a large place and I see myself set in a large place you let your words lead you to the large place don't stay in that narrow place of lack you can go on to victory knowing the Living God the Holy Ghost by putting his words in your mouth and when his words are in your mouth you begin to see yourself the way he sees you and he hears and answers those words let your words lead you let those words guide you your mind and your vision will follow well I can't see myself yet well you need to say yourself into a place of seeing yourself and when you begin to see yourself the way the Holy Ghost sees you you will be changed we're going on to perfection get an accurate vision of yourself and your future but looking back from that place of perfection in the future where we're all going say I'm going on to perfection looking back from that place of perfection in the future and I've been there and I've looked back and I saw that the secret of my success was in worshiping daily the Holy Ghost as God in the earth and by speaking in agreement with his word and letting those words influence my vision of him and of myself by doing that I was changed from glory to glory let me pray for you Holy Ghost I thank you that these people have heard this word and they're beginning to be changed by the words that went into their ear and they are being taken from one glory to the next as they begin to see you as the Spirit Lord in the earth and you are pleased by their worship he says I am pleased by your worship of me continue to say my words continue to see yourself in my words and I will make that part of you and you will become that not only to me but to everybody around you we worship you Holy Ghost we thank you for it in Jesus name Amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand and you may be wondering about these offerings that I take up and why I do it online well I take up an offering at every meeting I have whether it be in somebody's house or in an auditorium or wherever wherever it may be if you're a worldly person you might say well you're just trying to extract money from people but that's not really the case I'm blessed anyway the reality is I'm giving you an opportunity to partake of the blessing that is on me and this ministry the blessing of the Lord makes rich and adds no sorrow with it I am made rich and I have no sorrow added to me I walk in that blessing people that are live in my meetings if you could see them they're all wealthy people we are rich and we have no sorrow added to us and that's the blessing that's on us then those who bless you are blessed 
so that same blessing comes on the people that partake of this ministry and this is one way to partake of the ministry are you here so it's an opportunity to partake of the blessing that is on this ministry hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost I worship you I partake of the blessing that is on this ministry I thank you that through partnership that same blessing comes on me comes on my finances comes on my family comes on my businesses and I'm taken from one glory to the next glory and I am made rich and have no sorrow added we thank you for the Holy Ghost in Jesus name the Father is in heaven, Jesus at his right hand. Holy Ghost, your God in the earth.